So, how are men my audience? I have men, many, many men who follow me. I post my sex magic content. I post my, you know, my photos. Um, but I'm mostly teaching women and things like that. So, when men come around supporting me, giving honor, things like that, I love that shit. I love that energy around. I love having them as supporters. I love creating friendships with these people because they're worth it. You know what I'm saying? That energy is an energy worth having. You know? And I still get judged like you know people telling me how can I teach about healing and spirituality and things like that but want to show my ass and shit look honey my body is mine to be proud of and it has nothing to do with you or your feelings towards it Whoever enjoys what I do is going to support it, and whoever has an issue or is triggered by what I do, they can just be in their feelings and also go to hell. Like, yeah, I'm not hurting anyone. And if anything, my only goal is to heal and arouse and empower and inspire and mystify, magicify, enchantify. So, yeah, I have no bad intentions as far as towards the ladies or even towards the men. I'm not trying to bring men down. I'm not trying to teach all women in the world that men ain't shit. I just know that certain men ain't shit and we gotta watch ourselves. Because if you let them slip through the cracks, they will fuck up your entire life. Alright? So, I don't hate men at all. I love having men follow my content, follow my teachings, discuss with me their own perspectives. And even if you disagree, if you disagree in the most respectful way possible, you just may be able to stick around. Just be respectful. I love respect. Because I always do my best to make sure I'm not hurting people's feelings, I'm not doing this and that, you know, I'm always careful, unless someone starts it with me, okay, just don't start it with me, I'm Sagittarius, I don't play that shit, alright, very sweet, but you just got, you just got one little chance to fucking make me click, okay, so yes, now getting into the reason of this video, mad men all right the mad men that come to my page that i have to deal with the ones who leave long ass disrespectful ass paragraphs fucking up the energy of the general post like i could say something as simple as ladies make sure you're focusing on yourself make sure you're healing make sure you're doing this and that and they'll say something like oh well it's also two-sided you know make sure you doing this for your man and that for your man and all of this shit like no no we're not here talking about how to please men we're talking about healing okay we're talking about healing and me talking about a woman's healing is not for you to trauma dump under my post it's not for you to sit there and talk shit about your ex or talk shit about your baby mama about him, how imperfect she is maybe she needs to see my post so she can heal i'm not here to be on your side okay i'm sorry you went through that but this ain't the place okay because you're just here to invalidate other people's experiences you're here to play the victim you're here to trauma dump that shit isn't what it's for you know and a lot of the time i know i have seemed like an asshole putting men in check about you know bringing certain energies to my page or to my posts you know and i'm not saying that i'm right all the time but i know that when i have certain feelings i honor them and i make sure i address whatever's you know bothering me so angry men hurt men, misogynistic men, sexist men, these men have hateful energy. 
they have destructive energy and they send that energy to me my page and the women who follow me okay and the energy they send is so corrupt so evil so low so ugly that you just feel it and you feel it for days it's hard to explain like the energy they send makes you feel so low so horrible and that's what they want you to feel they want you to feel like you're not that bitch you're not a goddess you're just glorifying yourself you have a god complex they don't want you to think highly of yourself they want you to to kick yourself down a couple of notches and they want you to humble yourself and they want you to speak of yourself as a human being and not as a goddess a divine feminine whatever whatever not every woman is divine okay it takes a certain level of spirituality emotional intelligence intelligence all of that you know it's your quality your quality makes you a goddess not just having a vagina okay what adds or what heightens your vibration is you know the things that come with the rest of your body that isn't just the sacral area okay so these men they, they send this energy and when they send that energy it can be so strong and affect you so much to where you can just have no energy feel sick want to hide from the world hide from social media stop talking about the things you usually talk about stop you know stop preaching to women and you wanting to try to convince men that you know you don't think this and that way about them just to make sure that they're calm I know for a fact that whenever I made too many posts in a row warning women about the things to look out for in men, men will be all coming and attacking my page, their friends, friends of their friends, people they know, all kinds of shit. They don't like that. They be like, oh, she's talking about men. She must be a misandrist. Let's attack her. All right. So that in that way. I can either think, hmm, should I be more careful or should I not let them get to me and just protect my energy? And that's what this is all about. Mad man hex, okay? It's time to protect myself, protect my energy, protect the women that follow my page, okay? That misogynistic energy is not fucking welcome here. They're not going to get away with that away with bringing their stank ass energy to me and to my page they're not going to get away with invading something so pure to try and corrupt it with their dirty dick energy all right so now i am against hexing people over little things but you can really determine whether something is little or not when you look at the details of it. You know what I'm saying? Look at what I'm trying to work towards. Look at what I'm trying to advocate. All positive things, healing things, things that women have been going through and dealing with for generations. And then someone sends negative energy. They put that negative, nasty energy on what we're trying to build on our intentions they try to fuck that up because they want a different energy they want you to be subordinate they want you to feel low they want you to be submissive they want you know and i'm talking about these specific mad men who come and bring that ass energy that we need to stay away from and look out for you need to protect yourself okay because women be committing suicide over the shit that men make them feel you know what i'm saying so it's really important and by choosing to send a certain type of energy to someone if you don't know how harmful that energy is to them you don't know what you're getting yourself into so you can get your ass hexed, okay? 
if they really feel like they need that spiritual protection, your ass is getting hexed and there's nothing you can do about it. And not every curse has a reversal. Not every curse has a cleansing, especially if your ass doesn't change. All right. So these men, they stand in the way of collective healing for women. All right. A man who is like, yeah, I know there's men like this. I know that there's men like this because as a man as a man you know men and you know that y'all aren't perfect so stop that shit okay so they don't know or understand what women go through they don't comprehend or validate the importance of our existence and our truly godlike abilities like we are the creator of life sticking your dick in anything and then just making babies or supposedly making babies that's not creating life that's just being reckless that's just fucking and leaving okay but what a woman goes through when she is pregnant creating life and then giving birth that entire painful process deep process it, it's emotional it's spiritual it's genetic it's it's everything all that doesn't come with sex all that doesn't come with getting pregnant all right then you have the baby and then the mother has to nurture the baby the mother like it's not common for a man to nurture a newborn like the nurturing comes from the divine feminine okay all babies need divine feminine energy in order to you know and even with men, like a man growing up with the baby, like if he just has the baby and not the mom, he needs to tap in his divine feminine energy to be able to take care of that baby. Feminine energy. Masculine energy will not nurture the baby. Okay? So, like I said, I don't really identify as a feminist, but I do stand for women, women's empowerment, women's healing, all of that. All right. I may not be a feminist, but I don't agree with toxic, patriarchal, and insensitive women who speak against and speak down and ridicule feminism. Like women who talk shit about feminists or like uh, there's this one channel that I watch or, you know, that I used to watch sometimes and I kind of used to agree with the things that she used to say. I can't remember. It was something army. Like, she would do reactions to women talking about different things, like their standards, something they went through, stuff that they feel about men, whatever. A lot of it would be, like, misandrists, but a lot of it would be, like, logical understanding things. Like, if you know what women go through and things like that, you can see how that would happen. She would get on there and react to it, to whatever the women were saying and then just like talk shit about them ridicule them all of that i don't agree with that all right that's toxic feminism all right but healthy feminists or spiritually conscious women know how to draw the line so yeah the women who speak against feminism can be just as harmful and even qualify for a place on the altar, okay? They can be just as harmful. So, if a woman goes to my page and she's even against what I'm saying, or she's trying to be like, well, you can't be like this because men go through da 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 da, and you need to da 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 da. I've had women like that, okay? Like, bitch, no go somewhere yeah there's some bitches and they ruin they ruin it they ruin it for us all you know they ruin it for the ones who know we deserve better treatment know we can be on a higher level know we can be better for ourselves and create a better reality because we deserve more when you start thinking about that way you start being a better person if you ain't shit and then you start thinking a certain way and changing your mindset about certain things, you can not be shit anymore. 
You know what I'm saying? You, you, if you ain't shit and you're taking the steps to work on yourself and you're thinking of yourself highly, you're empowering yourself, you're closer and closer to being the shit instead of being ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? And this goes for men and women. Men should speak highly of themselves and work on being better men and, you know, all of this stuff. Not sitting there trying to control women all day and all of that. So, this madman hex that I'm talking about, like, it is a hex to protect yourself from the energy that men send in a toxic feminist send. You know what I'm saying? The, and also another form of toxic feminism is the women who tell other women that they should be following certain roles for men or they're acting too masculine or they're acting this and this and that. Like they can't do this because men are supposed to do this. You know, it's a very thin line and you got to be really careful with who you allow in got to be careful of people's mindsets because nowadays like so I'm a I'm a girl's girl okay I love you know just having a good relationship with other women but I know that not all women can be trusted not all women resonate with my energy and that's fine I understand that so yeah this ritual moves the toxic male obstacle for the matriarchy to flourish. Not all women are perfect, but together we are healing and awakening to our own divine powers and universal influence, okay? We are godlike. Our manifestation abilities are amazing. God is a woman, okay? We are the gods. We are the creators of life. You know, imagine how, you know, just not worth it this world would be if women just didn't exist at all if divine feminine energy didn't exist if growth and creation didn't exist it would be a really stupid place to be like i wouldn't even want to stay so yeah we are the original creators and i even believe that since man literally comes from women he's made in our image and now aids in reproduction okay so back then when the world was more matriarchal men had to find out about you know insemination and all of that like women would get pregnant and they thought it was like some kind of you know miracle and you know deep down I still believe that it was like that like women were a lot of women were asexual and were able to basically impregnate themselves but there was a t point in time in history where men found out that is not only something that can happen to women but it's also something that can be done to them and that's when things began to go downhill so yeah on top of that our genes have been tampered with women's genes have been tampered with throughout time through the food through the air through the water through medicine all kinds of stuff we're not women aren't what they used to be now okay we're so mixed up and fucked up but at the same time, we're still powerful. We still have a lot going on for ourselves, okay? But that's a topic for another day. So women need communities that activate higher vibrations, okay? Women need community. Women need to stick together. We need to speak highly of each other. And we also need to talk about the problems that we go through and talk about what you know each other have been through and how to manifest better experiences how to feel better about ourselves how to be able to manifest because we are born abundant and any woman who does not have abundance in her life now is because she's blocked there's been a blockage and um, a lot of the time these blockages come from not knowing your power your real power as a divine feminine 
so yeah we need communities and this is exactly why we started the Doma retreat it's out here in Ecuador we've been inviting people sharing the website all of that we're just waiting for the women to come it costs well there's different packages but one of the packages is two thousand five hundred dollars for six days and seven nights of just spiritual bliss you know what I'm saying the retreat is about awakening your divine feminine energy healing boosting your power being in tune more all of that nice stuff in Dharma we have workshops and these workshops are designed and dedicated towards just making a better you and opening up any blockages that you have and just our goal is that when women go into Doma they go in one way but then they come out so much better a, a better version of themselves more refreshed with a better perspective fresh energy more enlightenment you just feel more spiritually free whatever has been blocked has been unblocked you know a lot of different things we have some very powerful dreams for the Doma Retreat so I'll be sharing the link to that in the description below and you can go check it out or you can message me on Facebook to ask some questions about the retreat if you want to know and yeah so if you'd like some you know protection or some details on the madman hex feel free to contact me if there has been a man in your life sending you the wrong type of energy and it's really bringing you down it could be anybody an acquaintance someone far away a friend it could be your own partner this hex will protect you now what this hex entails I'm probably gonna do a separate video on that but I just wanted to talk I guess I just wanted to talk to you guys so yeah spooky season it's time to get some hexing done and right now I'm focusing on hexing men sending the wrong type of energy our way because we don't play that shit and sending all the love to all the men who support us and they're doing right and they're focusing on, on themselves and they're not worried about women who are just trying to help other women heal like get the fuck out of here so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to cast a little spell on that like button seduce that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to know when the next time i upload it's your girl amethyst Tuesday, wishing you well from afar bye bye